I'm going to show you how to uh, manage groups with contacts on macOS. Uh, it's pretty simple, but maybe not straightforward. So first I'm going to show you how not to do it, because um, it's, it's actually pretty limited. The app's kind of silly, like there, you can't do it in certain ways that you might think. So let's say I have a contact, Bob Jones, and I want to add him uh, to you know a new group or an existing group or something like that. Um, so the first thing that you can't do, you would think maybe, oh, I could go edit and maybe there's a group setting somewhere buried in here and I could add them to that group, but you actually can't do that. That's not an option. Um, if you want to add him to an existing group, it is relatively straightforward. Uh, you, you just take the name and then you would drag him to whichever group that you want. Um, so maybe in this case, I will drag him into this group. You see the little spinner, which means it's syncing across the other device in iCloud. If we go to work, we can see that he is in this group. So let's say I want to move him out of this group and just back into the, you know, sort of all category or all iCloud or whatever. Uh, how do you do it? Um, it doesn't actually work if you try to drag him back to here. I can move him to another group, but I can't move him out or undo what I did. So in order to do that, uh, you actually have to go up to the edit menu and it's not very intuitive, but there's actually a specific command called remove from group. Now notice this is not, I'm not talking about undo, but because what if this is way later and, and undo is an option, but this is actually a special command to remove from group and it's in the edit menu. So I click that and then he's gone. But if we go back to uh, all iCloud, then he's still here. So, okay, we moved him into group, out of group. What about if we want to move him into a new group? I can't just drag him into a new group. So how do we do that? Well, if you go to edit, it's also not here. Uh, I can't create a new group. If I go to card, um, you might think it would be here because it's a card and these are commands for cards, but it's also not here. Um, it's actually in file. So with file, it would say new group from selection. Or you could create a new empty group. And that also has the shortcut shift command n. In this case, let's do new group from selection. And notice I could have many contacts selected. That's where this can come in handy. And now the new group has my selection. Um, and then again, if I just want to create a new empty group, I can do that. And it's now empty. So I can move him maybe to this other one. Um, but again, what you'll notice when I moved it to the new empty, he's actually still a part of the old group. So he's actually in both groups. So you can have contacts in multiple groups, which can be useful. But again, if it's like, you know, you want to remove him out of a group, you have to remember. So here, I have to remember to select him, go to edit, and remove from group. So to remove, it's an edit, but to create a new group, it is file. Now, if I delete this group, it won't delete any of the contacts in the group, only the group. So my contact here, he will survive. So if I go edit, and I say delete group, Okay, let's go to delete the group. But then if we go back to all iCloud, and we search for him, the, the contact is still there. So that only happens if I want to delete the card. Then it's going to ask, are you sure you want to delete the card? So that's pretty much it, how you can manage groups and create new ones. And, and uh, yeah, it's really useful. You can have contacts be part of multiple groups and this all gets synced across all your Apple devices.